All right, yo, what's up, YouTube? My name is Ransom. Uh, here with a little tutorial. I don't have anything planned out for this, but I'm gonna show you guys kind of how I would go about sampling anything or turning any sound into anything you want, basically. Uh, I mean, it could be anything. It could be even just noise, background noise. Um, so let me show you how I would go about doing something like this. Basically, what I would do, obviously, I'm gonna need a sound or a noise. So I'm going to go to um, splice here and we're just going to, I'm going to find something here real quick and just kind of, I'll look up Foley. I might have some Foley sounds. Okay. So something weird, right? Just, it can be anything. I mean, it could be whatever you'd like. Right. So I'll just use this like, um, I don't even know what this is. Just some background, really. So basically, I just dragged it, dropped it into my session. What I am going to do now is take the audio file, drag it into the left over here, and drop it into a quick sampler original. And I am going to come back out here and delete this uh, audio track here. So now we have our sampler. Um, open that up. And basically, what we have here. Um, is the sound. I do have a keyboard in front of me. Okay, so first things first, I want to turn it up a little bit. I need just a little bit more volume there. And what I'm going to do now is basically take these arrows here from the sample start and the sample end. Okay, and this is how you're going to get the, the tone that we're looking for here. Uh, we have to make a very fast loop. So basically, you're just going to take these and make them about as short as you can. You can actually zoom in here and put them close up together. And then what we're going to do, we're going to put a loop on this. So you come here to loop uh, and you go to, I mean, you can experiment with these options here, but I will just do alternate. Okay, so you can hear that. It obviously sounds wild and crazy right now. Not ideal. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna we're gonna bring this in the loop, the loop point. We're gonna bring these in as close as we can, the start and end point, basically until it is making a tone. You can hear I do that. Now if I get it even closer, and the closer you make it, the higher pitch it's gonna get. But basically we just need any pitch, uh, whatever sounds good to you. All right, as you can hear, I'm already able to play some um, melodies with it. But basically here, um, we have a tone. So, okay, so now next thing we need to do is make sure that tone is in key with uh, middle C, which is um, C on the keyboard. Um, you, if you don't know where that's at, <clears throat> you can hit E on your keyboard as long as you have your sampler track selected. Hit E. That'll bring the edit. Um, key open here and you can see where the root key C3 is the one that we want to be playing there so as long as you're hitting that note we're gonna go uh, you can close out of the sampler and hit E again to close that I'm gonna hit X on my keyboard and that's gonna open up the mixer um, then in the audio effects for our sampler you're going to come down here and find a tuner. So we need to um, get this tuned up. So basically, um, if you come down, it's in the utility tab and it'll be tuner. Uh, mine is up here. I'll grab that real quick. Okay, so we're going to hit that middle, um, middle C again. And as you can see, mine says D sharp. So what we need to make that is a C. So I will open the sampler here and the tuner at the same time. And then what I'll do is come over to the course, or uh, yeah, the course here on the sampler, and we're gonna use that to get it to our C. So um, I'm gonna hit the note here and hold it here. And I'm gonna bring the course down as I'm doing this to get it to C. Perfect. So you can see it's in C, but we need it to be directly in line with the zero here. Um, we don't have to be directly in line. You can, I mean, you could put it off key by a couple semitones and sound pretty cool, but 
we're going to aim for zero for this one. So we're going to use the fine pitch here and get that to zero. So let's go ahead and hold the note again and use the fine pitch. There we go. Okay, so now we should be um, in key with uh, C or with any other uh, keyboard, I guess. If, if someone wanted to add stuff, this would be in, in the correct key now. So if I were to play something, right? So boom, I just, um, I have a little sound there. Um, and basically you already have something there that you can work with. If you wanted to open up the sampler again, you can actually mess with the attack sustain, uh, sustain and release down here in the bottom left or bottom right. Sorry. So I can maybe change the attack out a little bit. So it's not so choppy. It's got a little more of a fade in. Um, you could change the release out. And that'll make it, uh, you know, fade off a little smoother, kind of like a pad. You know, it's just, just improvising, but, you know, you get the basic idea. Basically, I just had that sound, and we just tuned it up, and now we can add effects and add reverb and add all types of stuff. Um, you can get crazy with it and make it sound uh, unique to your own, but that is the basic steps to it. Now, if you wanted to make it like a lead, um, you know, maybe you don't want multiple notes playing at the same time, you know, like um, they're overlapping. You can come to the polyphony here and change that to one or mono. Basically, that's going to only allow one, one note to play. So now it's going to sound more like a lead or something. You know something like that you could also add um a little glide to it in the pitch uh section here if you turn that up it'd be kind of like a cool you know get some stuff like that so really from here you can just keep sound designing i would add like effects like reverb or you know i mean you can go crazy with it so hopefully you guys uh learned how to make a sound out of nothing and uh yeah hope you're having a great day peace